to another episode of our Decades Legacy Challenge. We are back with our Haskins family and it is the 1990s and we have to go over some rules. But as you can see, our family has a new house that has been built for them for this decade. And so we are also going to be going over a house tour because unfortunately when I did the build, it was corrupted. And so you guys didn't get to see that video. And so we are going to go over a tour of the house after we go over the rules. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at the rules. So for the Decades Challenge Rules 1990s Globalization, it says all rules from the 1980s still stand with the following changes. Home and building. Computers are allowed for socializing and laptops are now allowed. Flopsy is also now available. Television time restrictions are lifted. All restrictions on showers, appliances, furniture lifted. <clears throat> Conspiracy theorists, paraphernalia, and decor is now allowed. Kids radio, alternative world music, and S pop music is now allowed. Kids network, cooking channel, and world culture network TV channels are allowed. These are the careers that are allowed. You guys can obviously look at the rules. They are always listed in the um, description box so that you can take a look at those. This is the part-time work that is allowed. Men are now allowed to take paternity leave after children are born. And miscellaneous, Y2K, when your oldest teen is about to become a young adult, or when you hit the second half of 1998, the family must prepare for the Y2K disaster. We should build a temporary shelter using the cheapest furniture. No computers are allowed at that time. The entire family must not leave the shelter for three days leading up to 2000. No school and no work. Babies may only be born at home if they are born during the three days in the shelter. Otherwise, they must still be born at the hospital. Cell phones now can be used for texting. Kid tablets are allowed. And with the rise of the internet, pet clothing is a thing. You can dress your pets in more than a collar. Playdates are now allowed. We may use the electronic backdrop in photo studios. Bubble tea is allowed and diaper pails are allowed. So these are our rules for the 1990s. That being said, I have also done a little bit of research and birth control and pregnancy tests have both been invented so we will start using those in our game as well so i have gone ahead and gotten annika on birth control and i have um hired them a maid in the house so that they will have a maid helping them but without further ado let's go ahead and go on a tour of the house so this is their new home they still have their pond, they still have their lovely tree over here with the bench, and their cemeteries of Gemma and Cora's tombstones are still out here. But everything else has pretty much changed. So, let's go through the house. When you go into the house, um, in the foyer here, there is a door off to the side here and it leads you into the garage. And in the garage is just a bunch of storage for their decorations for the holidays. As you can see, we have a little dollhouse here in the hallway. We have all of our photos up on the wall of the family, which I absolutely love. It's great. And then we have just like a little seating area here at the end of this hall. This door here, if you go through it, leads you into, if I can get my camera to work with me, that would be fantastic. This door leads you into a bathroom. with just a toilet and a sink and over here is a shower and then if you go back out and go through this door it leads you into the master bedroom which looks like this And then if you go into the master bedroom, you have a walk-in closet. This is the men's side, and over here is the ladies' side. 
and then you can continue on through and you've got the master bathroom with a his and her sink And then if you go this way, there is a door here that leads you into the laundry room. And this is the den. I think I actually gave them a television, so I may have to go ahead and do that. And this is their kitchen and dining area. And then you go upstairs. door that here that leads you to a bathroom so here's their bathroom upstairs and then there is this bedroom here this belongs to Rachel and I just went ahead and put the computer in her room because she has room in her room for the computer and then we have like a little pantry room here in the hall and then this is Siobhan and Joe's room here. So both of the kids' rooms upstairs. So that is their house. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to playing. It is Friday about 5.19 in the morning, so let's go ahead and get playing. Annika is sleeping, and we have Charles, who is feeling pretty dazed. It says he's, so in he's there. having a mental fog because he's starting to be burning out. He's starting to feel woozy from his mental load. Maybe he should take a break or exercise some creative skills before it gets worse. So I'm going to go ahead and let him get to cooking some things because that seems to sometimes oh. help him oh. um, whenever he's Lloyd. creative in the kitchen that seems to help him sometimes and once as you can see he instantly just became inspired because I have him cooking now <clears throat> and let's go ahead and see what is up with Joe Joe's needs are great Siobhan is sleeping and Rachel is sleeping. She's getting some rest up, but when she gets up, we're going to have to give her a bath. Charles also could use a bath. So I did notice that um, Annika is starting to feel a little bit better. She is not really worried so much about her... Um... <clears throat> midlife crisis anymore I noticed that as soon as I got them in this new house and got her on birth control and we hired a maid she started playing with the kids and seem it seems to have gotten a little bit better so hopefully she is past the worst of it and now she's just wanting to spend time with the family and spend time with Charles so I think she is past the worst of it, guys, and maybe we are going to see that she's going to be in a better place. Oh, no, maybe not. She woke up feeling frustrated. Um, I was hoping that she was past it, but it seems that she kind of woke up feeling a little tense. So maybe she's not quite past it just yet. Parto. <laughs> Team not not. Barbie taxi watch you. Pado. Bade. Big Koya slap. Wadida. Abrupt banarla. Look at Charles and Joe. He's Rob's so cute. 
They're just having themselves a little bit of a conversation, which we love. Joe has really done well with his skills. He has maxed out his movement and his imagination and his potty. And he's just about to max out his communication. He is really doing well with his skills. Javon has maxed out her communication and her movement. And we have Rachel who is just about to max out her thinking skill already. So she's even, you know, doing well with her skills. We absolutely love that. They are doing so well. You really need to get yourself a shower. So everyone did go ahead and get themselves a 1990s makeover, which we love. As you can see, Annika has a little bit new of a hairdo and some new clothes. Cabin brand new. Nice Lola face door. She's sad because of having a strict family dynamic. She was wanting to know if she should lighten up on her expectations a little bit. Is she is she Colvin? Is a door. Abenor! Foxin! I'm gonna get her to come in here and talk to Charles a little bit and see if maybe they can have a little bit of a good conversation and she can hopefully get over some of her sadness and some of her, you know, just the way she's kind of feeling about her life right now. Oh, oofa taru. Um, apologize. Mm, kiss a pay. Near flu. Lampers, Naya Floof, Yam Grano, Glass, Shaby Delo, uh huh, Hubba Seva, <laughs> Whips of Meat, Riesel, Parsifa, Fox, oh, the store, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Vadish, De Roy, Dana, oh, Zappelnorf, <laughs> uh, to me, Tuka, oh. So I, I think that Charles would try oh, to just proof. tell her, like, I understand that you are going through a lot of the fears of feeling like you're missing out on your dreams, but you can still have all of your dreams and have a family. You don't have to feel like you're missing out on anything. You know, we are here to support you in any way that we can. And obviously, if you still have dreams that you want to meet, we would be supportive in those dreams. Barbina. Orbitok. Ah, and she's like, bizarre. really? That's He's not. like, yeah, anything that you wanted to try wow. to tackle, we would obviously support that, honey. And he's off to work. So as you can see, I did opt to give them a little bit of plants here, but they're just growing some vertical plants as opposed to having like a garden, really. They're just gonna grow a couple of vertical plants. Um, everyone is having babies, it looks like. We have Anna Hera and D Dario just had a little boy named Carter. And we have Allison and Efren had a little boy named Tyson. So we've got a lot of people in the family that are having babies right now. So we have some people in the family that we're going to have to add to the family tree, obviously. But 
as you can see we are still dealing with her having some sadness she is really really worrying about her purpose in life and it's making her extremely oh, sad Neil. why don't you go ahead Stevie and put Bork. some lotion on honey because you have got Bro some seriously Roga ashy Zori? um knees oh, and elbows I'm going to get her to get up and give Rachel a bath. And I want him to complete a side project. It says, Charles takes the initiative to complete an oft-overlooked side test that nobody else would take. Everyone is surprised to see the task finally completed. And he got a large uh, performance gain. They used to. Oh, you got that. So she's gonna just give Rachel a little bit of a bath here because she is in desperate need of a wash. As you can see, she is quite grungy. So we're gonna have her go down here and give a bit of a bath. We don't really have anything on the agenda for the 1990 year change, other than the fact that we had a year change. There is nothing really on the schedule, but if you look on the calendar, we do have some birthdays coming up. So in 1991, we will have birthdays for Joe and Siobhan. They're going to be aging up to children at that time. But as far as this year goes, we don't have anything going on other than the fact that it was a decade change. They got themselves a new house. Oh, and Rebecca's calling. Finley Robinson asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Sure, go for it. Oh, oh. oh Flint. Oh. 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 It's better than Dario because he is married, so you don't need to be with him. Oh no, she's very angry from losing control. She's had enough of that nagging feeling telling her to do this or that. She either gets her way or nothing at all. She is really, really struggling and losing control when it comes to feeling like she is, um... Missing out on her dreams. It is really affecting her emotions and I don't know how that's going to affect the family. Rachel's gonna go play with some dolls. Have yourself a glass of wine and calm down. there was something that I could do to get her in a better place mentally but I'm at a loss as to what it is that I could do to make her happy um, I'm really not sure what the best course of action is here for her to give them a TV in this room.
and also she needs something as far as playing the music so I'm gonna give her her music back because I didn't get her her music so I'm gonna get her her violin So I'm going to have her go and practice her music and that way she will do her daily task for work. She's so mad. I mean, she is really just so mad. Rachel's gonna go upstairs and play with her play telephone, which is super cute. So she'll work on her communication skill. so cute. Javon's coming down to listen to Annika play. I wish she were happier. I really do. She is stomping around the house and carrying on and she is really in a bad way. What's up, sis? Want to see this new Instagram meme I found? I thought it was pretty funny. What do you think? Laugh out loud. Genius. Ha ha ha. I knew you'd love that. Her brother got her out of that funk. So we love that. I don't know what he did exactly that got her out of that, but I think talking about things out in the world like Instagram and memes and things like that made her feel like she was part of the world. 
and that made her happy and now she is feeling inspired and she's cooking and suddenly she just feels better. And Joe just reached level 5 communication. I'm gonna have her go ahead and call everyone to a meal because the kids are a little bit hungry. She's not hungry. You don't need a plate. Oh, she's got to go to work. All right, she's leaving as Charles is coming home. Charles is feeling extremely tense from being at work. So we may let him do something fun with his time. You think playing that, you think that's fun. Play a game. Alright, all of the children have eaten. We love that. They are now no longer hungry. What's wrong with little Siobhan? Oh, because mom left. She's sad. Oh, the poor thing. Rachel's like, why are you crying? Dad's here. Hey. He's upstairs playing video games, but he's here. Oh, oh my gosh. She's like, I'm here too. We'll be okay. Look how cute they are. He's burned out. Charles is burned out. Burnout negatively impacts work performance and promotions, energy, fun, and skill game. He'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up recovery. Oh, these two girls are so cute. He needs a day off work. Okay, well, we can do that. When does he get a day off? He is experiencing burnout. He doesn't work for three days, so he has three days off. Don't you dare use your diaper. You go potty up in the potty up here. I said don't use your diaper. Siobhan is so bad. Oh, and Rebecca's calling to chat. Do you want to answer? Yeah, of course we do. We'll talk to Rebecca. No, 
Joe, Charlie, Joe, go upstairs and go potty. <laughs> Charles is like, I'm going to bed. What about all your toddlers? He's like, I am going to bed. I don't care about the toddlers. The toddlers are good. You just leave the toddlers to their own devices and they are just like basically taking care of themselves. I mean, Rachel's in bed. Siobhan needs a bath though. And so he's going to have to get up and take care of Siobhan. Whether he wants to or not. gonna have to give a bath to Siobhan. Look at him, he's all tense. I'm so sorry, Charles, but you have to be a dad. <laughs> so he's like, I'm going to bed. But Siobhan needs a bath before she can go to bed. Mainly because she decided to use her Run, diaper. Run, Hub. Oh, Oh, and <laughs> In the bathtub you go, ah, little one. Woo, Rishi! <laughs> Oh, Poofy. Fruity smob our pinoy. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 She wants to go upstairs and play. I am going to make her go to bed, though, because it is 10.30 at night. Annika's home from work, so I'm going to have her go to bed, too. she crying oh. oh because she's missing out on her dreams oh no and this boil went bad you're gonna have to clean that up love she wanted to be friendly with Charles. Ah, <laughs> Alright, serve these waffles. Did 
Did she grab a serving? Hmm. I don't know. Yes, yeah, she did. I'm gonna have him go ahead and flirt with her a little bit and see uh -huh. if he can woo her some. Sue so, Sue. So. <laughs> <laughs> he asked her if she would woohoo with him basically and she was like yeah yes I will so they're gonna go and have a little bit of alone time we're gonna let them do that and we will spend some time with the children here. We got little Joe who is playing with dolls. Siobhan's just getting a little bit of dancing in. She's so cute. Rachel is disgustingly stinky again. It's because she's not potty trained and so she constantly goes in her diaper. We need to get her potty trained something fierce. But she is so adorably precious. Oh no, why from eating desserts? What goes up must come down. Right now the sugar has left and the down is way down. dolls. Waffles are delicious. Mom has outdone herself. We're going to have a bunch of toddlers amped up on sugar, though. potty chair. Oh, your potty chair is nasty. Alright, so Annika is just giving little Rachel a bath and then we're going to have Siobhan go upstairs and use her potty chair. Charles is just going to the washroom himself because he needs to go to the washroom. 
And what are you doing, Joe? Joe's like, I don't have anything to do. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am going to go and talk to my mom. Like, let me put some laundry away. He's feeling very confident after his tryst with his woman. She's feeling pretty good herself. So she is on birth control, but she has not been on birth control for very long. So we are going to have her go ahead and oh, she doesn't need to take a pregnancy test. Clearly, she's not pregnant. So. I was gonna say we'll have her take a pregnancy test since they just wooed, but they. There's no take a pregnancy test option, so we are safe. Telling a story to Joe. We love that. I am going to get him, though, to clean this potty and then I'm going to have him potty train Rachel. Why don't you come and mold this Play Doh? Oh. It would seem that she's feeling a little bit better. I don't know if they are trying to work through their things. It would seem that that is the case. I would hope that's the case. <laughs> Rachel and Charles have a supportive family dynamic. When family members have a supportive family dynamic, both Sims will actively provide affection and compliments to each other. The older sim will actively seek to console or cheer up the younger sim, and the younger sim feels comfortable venting complaints or asking for help a bit more. <laughs> you only clean up one of those? If I have to get behind the trouble, if it's Rick. Snurves, Naba, Ponil, Habishi, Ponil, uh, Vapin, Splurb. So Dad's giving Joe a bath. 
<clears throat> Rachel needs to go back to the bath again. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Give a bath to Rachel when you're done. <laughs> you didn't finish giving Joe a bath. Rebecca's calling. You won't believe it. R Finley Robinson is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. Oh, congratulations. All right, she's going to go ahead and serve some lunch up, and he is giving baths to toddlers, which is fantastic. She really likes to cook as well. She has gained a love of cooking. I don't know if it's about something about this kitchen or what it is, but she loves to cook. Annika goes to work in an hour, and Charles is off, as we know, for three days. Charles, you need to clean this fridge out. And then Joe's going to have to go to the washroom. Annika, you could stand to use the washroom. Are we sure you don't need to take a pregnancy test? No? Okay. Very good. I guess you just have to pee. She's over there practicing her music before she has to go into work. She actually is going to be now late to work if she doesn't go ahead and go, so I'm going to let her go on into work. Off she goes, and he is home with the children. And if we consult our calendar, we are almost to 1991. So 1990 has gone off pretty much basically without a hitch. It's gone fairly decent. She is trying to do a little bit better. I think Annika is slowly getting over her ways of being upset. I don't know if she's getting better or not. It seems that she's getting a little bit better. So I am hoping that is the case. But we are going to have to see if she continues to do better. Now that she is on birth control, we are hopefully going to see a improvement in her because they'll be able to woohoo and kind of bond and get closer to one another and things like that without having to worry about getting pregnant. And so I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that's going to um, do good. 
Where's the family portrait with by Ravishing? There it is. I was like, um, hello. I want a family portrait of our family. I don't want that background though. Look how cute they are. All right, we love it. He's just cleaning away, we love that. I am gonna get him to come in here and clean the lint tray and go ahead and change the laundry over to the dryer. We do have a maid, but that doesn't mean that he can't go ahead and do it. Rachel's diaper. <laughs> Are you gonna change your diaper? Skimbo young gee. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. The son of Diola? Oh, she'll be around. Oh, 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 <laughs> Gross. <laughs> so it is eight o'clock I'm gonna go ahead and get everyone into bed for the evening Siobhan you are tired and that way everyone can go ahead and get a little bit of rest and dad your bed's down here And we will probably go ahead and leave this episode here. I will see you guys again in 1991. And we will be having the birthday of Siobhan and Joe. They will be aging up into children. But until then, I am going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you want to become part of the Raven family. And I will see you guys in the next one. But until next time, I'm going to go ahead and bye for now. Bye, Ravens.